Well, areas in the western part of Hampton Roads saw the most snow this morning. 13 News Now reporter Allison Basil is out in Suffolk right now. Allison, you caught up with some of the snowplow drivers. <laughs> Yes, Ashley, Suffolk was covered in a beautiful blanket of snow this morning. And although that is starting to melt, schools are closed. So take a look behind me. You can see a lot of students here taking advantage of this hill off of 664. But the main roads have been clear thanks to the long hours pulled by public work crews and contracted crews. Snowflakes came and went in Suffolk, but not without some help. Even when you're in a piece of equipment, I mean, it's always Always a blast to get out here and just push it all around. Contracted crews like Blair Brothers pulling an all nighter to scrape away slush and ice. It's a little while to get ready, you know, like I said, ain't been uh, two years since we used it. Pipe foreman Ryan Houghton says they jumped at the chance to put the snow removal equipment to work. They pulled it out, they got it out here quick and and we pushed away, kept it clear all night. Sentara Obesey Hospital facility manager Brian Childs says crews started prepping Thursday. Snow removal of tractors and, and uh, front loaders here. We broke out all our shovels and our ice melt and everything ready to go. Suffolk's public work crews had the same plan in mind, even removing several downed trees before the morning commute on Friday. The city saw snowfall totals from a dusting to seven inches, but that's nothing to an Idaho native. Yes, I like snow. Uh, this isn't snow to me. This is, this is just like, you know, the, the, we had this for Halloween where I grew up, so this, this is all good. And the city says they used more than 12,000 gallons of brining pretreatment on the roads. Live in Suffolk, Allison Basil, 13 News Now. Those kids making the most of their snow day behind you, Allison. <laughs> Thanks.